Oh, hello. Thank you for joining me. Wasn't expecting you today, but as you're here, let's do a quick video on the grid system for Maui. Now, the grid system is a fundamental um, requirement to understand if you're into your XAML because it gives you the ability to lay out your applications in a way befitting that clients, customers, users would expect. Now, what I will say to you is the easiest analogy to understand the grid system is to think about your spreadsheets. If you think about your, uh, your columns going down and your rows going across. And if you think about your placement for the grid system, um, this is going to confuse you unless you know about arrays because um, arrays don't start, it, the first item in an array doesn't start at one, it starts at zero. And that's the same with your grid system. Now, this this example is, again, from the Microsoft documents. And this is why I love the ability to migrate my applications from uh, Xamarin Forms to the MAUI stuff because 90% of the code just works. All the examples, all the seven years or eight years of Xamarin Forms examples are just a cut and paste. Uh, the only thing that we might have some issues is if you're using a lot of third-party libraries. Uh, so if we can just quickly talk through. Uh, so the example that is online uses the older syntax, which is where you do your row, uh, row definitions. And you can still use that, uh, but they have cleaned it up a little bit. So you can now just uh, use shorter syntax. And if we look, if you would like some more details, well, I'm jumping ahead here, but there is a great post from one of our fearless blog posters for Xamarin Forms and, of course, Maui, a Zam girl. Um, please uh, visit this post and follow her on Twitter because she does do regular uh, blog posts on how to implement all aspects within Xamarin Forms. So, and Maui, of course. So, uh, if we look at the grid system and we look at the one from because if you're interested in this you're probably interested in software development and the the grid system is now universal it's used all over the place and if you can learn it in maui then you can take what you've learned it's just a principle the principle is what i would would like to cascade today so this example if you can see is We've got two columns. So if you look here, we've got uh, where we're giving a two portion of the screen to this second. Well, it's the it's column one because column zero is this, which has only got one portion of the screen. So you can use proportions like that, which kind of convert to percentages. Percentage of the screen is this much or you can give it specific um, values. So if I want to give this a specific value, let's try 100. Uh, oh, get rid of that star. Let me press insert. There we go, let's see. And okay, I'm typing all over the place here. But, um, right, so we've, we've got 100, 100, 100, all nice and even. And then we've got, if we wanted to, we could just make these star star, which will make them even. And you're probably asking, well, why is this one split over two? And what you've got here is you've got the ability to do a column spam, 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 if you are aware in the UK, is a processed type of bacony meat that's lovely if you try it. Um, so grid column span gives us the ability so if we wanted this to only if we want this to just be in grid uh, column one remember column one is actually uh, oh, let's change the actual container for it as well so grid column one um so if you see here now what we've done is we've specified really that this is taking up this this um, column one but grid row now it's not grid row three because this is grid zero grid row zero grid row one grid row two so what we could do here now 
is we could just add a stack layout. And we could put the stack layout in grid, row. Now we've got a two, haven't we? So we can have a three. And uh, best put a background color. And we'll make it like a light, light gray. Just like the weather here. And we don't want to close it like that. No, we want to. So now with your stack layouts, you can put multiple things. So you can put a label uh, with some text. Again, um, one of the great things about Visual Studio is the IntelliSense. So really helps. Uh, so I don't know. Let's uh, please like this video. Okay, and let's close that. Um, and we'll do that a few times. Now, we haven't specified, um, we haven't specified grid row three. Uh, so let's do that now, but we want grid row three to be everything that's remaining which means we could just use a star. And we probably want this to go over to this. So we'll do that grid column span. And we want to, and there you go. And if you do like this video, then please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.